Let's talk about dump cakes. Strawberries are in season. It's spring here in the South. And so where I am, we have gotten fresh strawberries. So today we're gonna make a strawberry cheesecake dump cake. And it's really simple, but it's gonna be so tasty. So let's jump on in. Hi, I'm Mary Catherine and welcome to my table. Okay, our ingredients for a dump cake are really simple. We use whatever fruit we want to, and then you need to have just a plain yellow cake mix. You can use different varieties of the yellow cake mixes. Today I have the butter golden, so we're gonna use it. Um, and then today we're gonna add a little cream cheese to ours to kind of make it a strawberry cream cheese combination. And then you can add nuts if you want. So today I'm going to top ours with a little bit of a rough chopped walnuts. And then of course you always end with butter. And I have a little bit of sugar here today, not quite a fourth of a cup, because I want to add that to the strawberries. They don't need a lot of sugar, um, but you just want to kind of get those juices flowing in the strawberries first. So the sugar is going to help do that in the dump cake. And so what I have done, I've got a couple strawberries here left to go, but I've just washed them and I've capped them. You just get as little as possible off the top and cap that off. And then I've just kind of done a, a quarter. Uh, I just kind of quarter my strawberries and they do not have to be uniform sizes for a dump cake because it's all just gonna kind of meld together anyway. So that's what we do with, um, with our fruit. So today with our strawberries, they're ready, they're washed, they're chopped. And like I said, I'm gonna just add a little bit of this sugar this is probably about a quart of strawberries. It could be just a little bit more. Um, and if you want to use the canned fruit instead, or, or even the, um, you know, like a canned pie filling, you can use that for dump cake. So if you want to make it even easier than this, you can absolutely do that and it will still be delicious. But today we're going to use the fresh strawberries and I'm going to kind of stir that sugar and you can already kind of see that it gets the strawberries going and that juice is just gonna release um, while it's baking and it's just gonna be so good. All right, and I've already got my dish sprayed here. This is a nine by 13 baking dish. So it's sprayed and ready. And so the first thing you add is your fruit. So I'm gonna put this down in the bottom and then just kind of spread it out across the bottom of the pan. And there we go, we got our strawberries ready. And so today, since we're gonna make it kind of a strawberry cheesecake, I've got some of this uh, whipped cream cheese and I'm just gonna take my scoop here and I'm just gonna plop some scoops of this just around different places on the top and we don't have to stir this at all. We're just gonna let it sit where it sits and just kind of spread it out so that hopefully when you get a spoon of the finished dump cake, everybody's gonna get a little bit of cream cheese in theirs. And that combination of strawberries and cream cheese is just always a good combination. Let's see, I think we need a little more there. And so that's really all that there is to adding that. Super, super simple. Let's do one more. And then pretty much anywhere we get a piece, we're gonna get some, some uh, cream cheese with it. And so now the next step will be to add our yellow cake mix. And so you just take it and you just sprinkle it all across the top, you know, as evenly as you can. I'm trying to do this as much from the bag. Usually I can use my hands, but with that cream cheese on the top, I really am trying not to have to do that a lot. Um, oop. But I'm going to do a little bit here, okay. Okay, and don't at me about using my hands. It's my kitchen and everybody uses their hands in their kitchen and my hands are clean, by the way. So anyway, here we go. That's pretty spread out, looks pretty good. So now the next thing is just to take our walnuts and these are pretty big, just a, just a rough chop. You can do them smaller if you like. You can add pecans if you like, but today I had walnuts, so that's what we're gonna add. Um, and if you don't like nuts, then don't add them. If somebody's allergic, don't add them. But this is what we're gonna do here today. 
And this was probably about three fourths to a cup of nuts. So really just sprinkle until it looks the way you want it to. And that looks pretty good right there to me. So now it's almost finished. We just wanna take our melted butter. And again, this is one and a half sticks of butter. So that's three fourths of a cup and I've already melted it. And so we're just gonna drizzle it over the top as evenly as we can, but you don't stir it. You don't do anything else with the dump cake. That's what's perfect about it. Just makes it so easy and simple to put together. Like I said, even if you're not a baker, if you don't consider yourself a baker, you can make a dump cake. I know you can. All right. And there you go. We've got our butter all spread out. That looks pretty good. And so now the only thing left to do is to bake it. I've already got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. And so I'm gonna pop it in now and we're gonna bake it for about 35 minutes and then I'm gonna peek at it. It may need just a little bit longer, um, but we're gonna peek at it at about 35 minutes and see if it looks ready. All right. Okay, now it's just the waiting game. Okay, it's time to take our dump cake out of the oven. Mm-mm, that smells good. And that looks perfect. You want it to start to get a little bit of golden brown on top, so that looks perfect. Hot and bubbly, mm, just looks delicious. Okay, and that's it. That's all there is to making a dump cake. You just pick whatever fruit you like. And like I said before, you can even use the canned pie filling if you want. They make great dump cakes. So if you want it even simpler, use that. Whatever kind of fruit you like. And then you just add your cake mix on top. And then if you wanna add nuts, do that. And then your one and a half sticks of butter drizzled over it. Um, and that's it. That's as simple as it gets. This ended up cooking for about uh, 45 to 50 minutes. And I like it done about at this level. If you want yours a little bit darker golden brown, then just leave it in for a few extra minutes. You know, but it doesn't quite cook for an hour, but, but getting close to an hour, you'll want it to cook 45, 50 minutes. And I do have a convection oven. So if you have a regular oven, it's gonna take it a little bit longer. So you would be closer to that hour mark if, um, if you have a regular oven. So just know that. But it's so simple to make a dump cake. I know you can do it. All right, let's give it a taste. Okay, let's get this corner with some good strawberry juices coming out. A little bit of those nuts. And hopefully we'll get some of that cream cheese we added to this too. Yep, I see some there. Okay, so once you get it in your bowl, it doesn't necessarily look pretty, but it tastes really good. So, let's see. Yeah. I'm gonna add just a little bit of whipped cream onto it. It'll help cool it off a bit. Just grab my spoon. Oh, it's gonna be hot. <laughs> Let's see how it is. I'm gonna have to blow it a minute, okay? Y'all just gotta be patient, guys. I don't wanna burn my tongue. Mmm. 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 I love that flavor combination. Mm. I love the strawberries with the cream cheese and I love the crunchy nut topping too. And that's just the right amount of butter. I really think two sticks is too much and I think one is not quite enough. I love just the one and a half sticks on a dump cake. So anyway, go ahead and make you some today. Your family will love it. So thank you so much for joining me at Mary Catherine's Table. I hope you enjoyed this episode um, and I hope you'll subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite fruit is. Leave me a comment and let me know. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks again for joining.